And so, wasn't it ironic the way these two met to begin with, not offering the opportunity to actually hear one another's voice at all, connecting rather over swift movements of their fingertips through messages back and forth, the way many modern love stories start these days. Well, the whole world was sleeping. As I stand here today, I wish to make you a few promises. I promise to love you as you deserve to be loved, with admiration, adoration, passion, pragmatism and respect. To treat you like the proud and capable woman that you are. And all the light on your skin. So after some banter back and forth, they met down at the beach for a casual fish and chip date. I have adored every part of our journey together and truly cannot believe that I have found my best friend and my soulmate. The one who not only brings out the best in me, but encourages me to be the best that I can be. I forgot. His first impressions were extremely positive as he learnt more of the tall, confident blonde woman with the biggest, most beautiful blue eyes he had ever seen. Since we've been together, the good times are better. The tough times are easier and our house has become a home. Together, we will continue to make the most of life, sustained by our love and strengthened by our commitment to each other. On this incredible 24 degree spring day, the old dairy here in Mullaney, which of course brings me to this moment where we welcome you all to the very last day of their engagement. Please put your hands together and make some noise because it's their wedding day. Wow. Well, what can I say? Other than what a roller coaster ride it has been having a daughter like Katrina. <laughs> Karen and I first met about 32 years ago, roughly. <laughs> there were others to pick from. But we took him home anyway. It was Katrina, who just couldn't swipe past the profile picture of one particular young man who was evidently embracing a puppy named Ewok. So she did the very normal thing a young giddy woman would do. She took a screenshot of said young man, forwarding it to her gal pals for approval with the caption, this man is going to be my next boyfriend, FYI. Kat had introduced Carrot to all of the family and the friends and Carrot said, this isn't too bad, babe, this is fine. And Kat said, Wait till you meet Anne. <laughs> Kat's friends and her bride tribe, they too have never made me feel anything other than welcome and I can thank them for that. Except Anne. <laughs> to my beautiful, loving best friend. Boy oh boy, talk about trial by fire. And her husband who I have come to accept. <laughs> and somewhat love. No, I'm only kidding. She's been so welcoming and supportive of our whole relationship the entire time. Is that all you wanted me to say? <laughs> to our beautiful, happy couple. To our couple. As a father, when your daughter is born, you have these ideals. You hope that one day will come to fruition. Some of mine have not. I'm the professional tennis player and so disappointed. <laughs> but overall, I couldn't be more prouder of Katrina. But of course, every great love starts with a great story. And even though there was no penny drop kind of moment for Kerrod, when he knew he had fallen in love with Katrina, a few things out of the ordinary started to happen to him. Firstly, he began to yearn for her. He could not escape it, and that he had in fact fallen in love with this woman. May we always treasure this day and how we feel right now. 
happy, happy excited, excited, and full of hope. hope. May we treasure these feelings for the rest of our life. I love you more than words, forever and ever. And I'm so happy to be leaping into the next chapter of my life with someone who brings so much joy and light to the world. He admires your passion for whatever you throw yourself into and especially how much you love and care for your friends and your family. What he adores most about you is your uncanny ability to love and cherish the smaller, insignificant moments in life. I proudly introduce for the very first time the brand new Mr. and Mrs. Holmes Blister. They say you don't marry the someone that you can live with. You marry the person you can't live without. Um, and I think that sums us up pretty perfectly. Um, now if I had to single out one thing about why I love Kat so much, uh, it would be the fact that she makes me happier than I ever dreamed it could be. I bet you all thought there was a joke coming there. There wasn't. <laughs>